Well, today's going to be interesting. Yes. Today we're going to do something we never thought we would do. Well, we're not going to do it. We're going to pay somebody <laughs> to do it. But um, we're going to cut some holes in the ceiling. Yeah. <laughs> I can hardly control my excitement. <laughs> now, if you didn't see our video about the roof leak, uh, our roof was leaking, but it's only leaking when it air conditioner cycles off while it's raining mm -hmm. and a lot of you made comments about what, what you thought be. it might be and we appreciate all those comments mm -hmm. uh, we did look into all that we've talked to the techs about all of those possible issues mm -hmm. um, we had our second tech come out um, he confirmed that there was no issue with the uh, integrity of the roof yeah there are no holes in the roof or the lining um, the drip tray is is draining properly yeah. all of that is working properly uh, however somehow water is still being sucked into the air conditioner while it's on while it's raining and then when the air conditioner cycles off it the water releases through these intake depending yeah. on which way we're leaning it'll come out either this vent or that vent yeah. when the air conditioner cycles off and some of you uh, said you know stuff about condensation mm -hmm. And making sure that it was uh, it was properly sealed in there right. no. so both techs have looked in there um, all the styrofoam is intact everything's good so we got in touch with um, with our friends at Keystone mm -hmm. and uh, they were able to put us in touch with their tech department and was able to talk to the tech right here on site so they got the brainstorming back and forth and with came what, to an agreement <laughs> Well, they came to an agreement on an idea, and we're going to see if it's going to work or not. So, Keystone sent us out the parts, and the tech said that he can do the work. Um, what they think is happening is that these vents, you see how far out they are mm -hmm. uh, to, to the sides of the RV. Now, the newer model RVs, they've moved those moved in, in yeah. a little closer. And the reason why is because these vents pull so hard on the, on the air, uh, because they're so far away from the actual unit they have to pull really hard mm -hmm. and so what the techs believe is happening is that it's pulling so hard that it's pulling the rain off the roof it's sucking the water straight off the roof <laughs> into the air conditioner which holds it in there while the fans it's running because of the yeah. suction and then when the fan turns off it lets it go it lets it go so what, what's going to happen today is we're going to cut two more vent holes because this ducting, bring them in a couple inches. Yeah, the ducting comes down from here from the unit. Yeah. And it runs this way to these intake. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut one right. here. Tap into them <laughs> sooner. <laughs> and no. cut one over there. So we're going to cut two holes in the ceiling into the ducting, which is going to reduce the force at which these things have to pull in air. Yeah. And hopefully that will stop it from sucking that water off the roof while it's raining and keep it from leaking. Hopefully. Tech's gonna be here in about an hour. This is, it's not been a cheap process to figure this out, so I pray that this yeah. cures it. <laughs> After all said and done, about six hundred dollars that we have into the into the maintenance of, of well diagnostics. Mobile, mobile tech yeah. is, you know, coming in exactly. and doing what they can. Parts uh, weren't a problem. Keystone sent us the parts. Um, because they they would rather us uh, do this on our own, send us the, the parts then to have to take this in for warranty work because then they're paying for parts and labor and, and we're out of our RV and everything so everybody yeah. kind of wins if Keystone sends us the parts the tech comes out we take care of that part so we'll see after the tech leaves we will come back on and we will let you know uh, that it's installed properly we won't actually know if it worked till it rains till again. it rains <laughs> so which we're in Florida so we'll know soon enough yeah you know it's always raining somewhere in Florida <laughs> so we won't shoot the conclusion of this video until after it rains the air conditioner cycles off a couple times while it's raining yeah and we'll let you know if it worked fingers crossed I'm not a fan of putting holes in the ceiling that just scares me well, we're not doing it though. well I know but I just hate the thought of it <laughs> We're going to take Scout outside because he's not going to enjoy no, somebody's next to his tank cutting holes. Mm -hmm. so. All right. We'll go sit outside. I'll let you know. Mm -hmm. Well, we finally got some rain. Finally. We've got to put this video on hold for like three weeks, three weeks because there's been no rain. So we have no way to test to see if these things being installed 
was going to be a solution to the problem. Mm -hmm. We just got a huge downpour. Yes. It was a pretty good sized cell that went over us, and it was downpouring for a while. Yeah. So we made sure the air conditioner was still running. So in the past, when we cut the air conditioner off or when it cycles off after a long rain, the water will pour out of these intakes. Yes. If it's not fixed, there's water just hanging out right there and waiting for me to kick that thing off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And fall on our heads. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I turn it off. So we're gonna turn it off. Cross our fingers. I hope it doesn't leak. <laughs> We're just gonna leave me standing under the vent. Yeah. Find out if it leaks or not. <laughs> Sounds like a plan. It's gonna end well for us or bad for you. I don't know. All right. just I turned off <laughs> we're waiting for it to cycle off. Well, we don't know which way the RV is leaning. So, whichever way it leans, that's the way it comes out. So, I'm standing under this yeah. vent. She's standing under that vent. <laughs> so, if it didn't work, somebody's, has, somebody's get getting wet. ready to get wet. they were coming out the far end ones before we had these yeah if it was gonna leak it would come out of one of these now because that's close that's closer and it appears that there's no leak <laughs> thank god I didn't want to get wet I was still I was, I was just waiting because <laughs> no normally it will, it's right away as soon as it kicks off it yeah, will just it start drops. pouring out yeah so it's not like we're gonna sit here and wait and it's gonna happen yeah, but, yeah. It would have already happened. So it looks like these uh, are the solution. So if yeah. you have that issue and you can't figure out why your why your ceiling is leaking every time your air conditioner cycles off, um, when it rains, we'll show you some of the pictures. There was not very much. Uh, there was not very much clearance inside the inside Airflow the inside the zones. Yeah. yeah, it was very thin, very narrow. And so what our guy did was when he put these in, um, he installed some some um shims yeah some shims he did some like makeshift shims out of uh styrofoam <laughs> and he shoved them in there to give that a little bit more clearance and so <laughs> he raised the roof <laughs> <laughs> she's full of these things <laughs> so you got the hundred dollar screw job <laughs> raised the roof oh, like, on a roll. <laughs> <laughs> um so after two technicians each coming out twice mm -hmm. Uh, over six hundred dollars worth of technician work. <laughs> work. Lots of communication with Keystone, and getting them to send us the um, yeah the stuff to install, and the communication between the techs and Keystone Keystone's trying to figure out right. the problem because um, none of the techs had this solution on their own. Um, this was the solution that was suggested by the Keystone mm -hmm. technicians, and it looks like they've gotten it right. Yes. And um, you'll notice, too, that, and we'll show you when we get to Tampa and get to tour some of the, the Montanas there, that the newer Montanas are already, already installed yeah. closer to the center, so they're not going to have these issues. So if you have a 2021 or newer, uh, you're not going to have the issues that, yeah. that we have. But now, we have a custom 2019. <laughs> Probably the only one out there with four beds. <laughs> And we'll see what happens in Tampa. I'm trying to get out of there still in this RV. I think Leslie has another agenda. Well, if they wouldn't have made me fall in love with the 2021s, we wouldn't have a problem. Yeah. So, blame um, Keystone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, thank you to all the, the technicians who helped us. Thank you to Keystone for getting yes. involved and helping us out. Um, it's been a huge help. It's just been a process, and thankfully, we're not leaking anymore. Uh, and it, I think it was contained inside the ducts, and the ducts um, weren't leaking into anywhere else, I don't think. So I don't think we have any water damage or mold or anything like that. So um, we're happy. Yes, we can leave the house knowing it's going to rain and not have buckets <laughs> under the vents. <laughs> <laughs> we used to go about adventuring out and and to put buckets. If there was a chance of rain, we put buckets just in case. Yeah. So no more buckets. Yeah. It's no nice. more water. It's good. Yeah. 
So, like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. We appreciate you watching and sending us all of your suggestions on what it may be because lots of you sent those. We appreciate that. And uh, it really did help because when we were talking to the techs and, and Keystone, we talked about uh, a lot of those other suggestions. ideas off, but they were confident this was the, the solution. Yeah. So we'll honor that hero right now, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.